Good day and hello. This is Matthew and Dazzle. This is two and seven. Top trades. Let's go. So today is 1018 Monday. Um, but I am doing 1015, which was Friday. Uh, so like I do say, and I'm gonna start doing now, um, we did start going up in the morning futures. So you missed about um, you missed about let's see about 0.34 points for the uh, Dow about um, nine points for the S P about tw 0.21 or about 41 points about 0.28 and about a 1.3 move for the uh, Russell and that last one was the Nasdaq indexes so um, like I said before time the futures do make the moves up before even the markets so the market move uh, for the futures today was uh, the Dow it was up 35,176 before market uh, up about 264 points or up about three quarters of a percent the S&P it was up 24 points up 4,462 uh, up about uh, a half a percent and the Nasdaq it was up 15,108 or up 56 points or up about uh, a third of a percent and the Russell it was actually the um, the mover of the morning and it was up 2,300 or up 30 points and it was up 1.3 percent so um, that's something to just look uh, look look forward to I'll show you um, an exact correlation when we get back down there later uh, but let me just go back into my uh, normal routine routine here uh, so you guys won't be um, confused here so what was moving upstart it hit an all-time high around you know 398 394 it settled down uh to about 390 about 2.7 percent amazon out of nowhere this morning around 10 it just had a couple green bars and it went from about 3300 to 3400 and just a straight orderly line um so buyers were coming into that today it, it went up to 3409 up to 3.3 um percent and Tesla also had a nice day today after it broke through the 800 level it's up to 843 up on good strong volume and ahead of earnings um, a couple of these uh, uh, companies are gonna have this week so it's gonna be um, crucial to see what they're doing but it looks like people are getting ahead of the um, the head of the curve uh, so it's up 3% up to 843 like I said Facebook has been having some bad antitrust worries and uh, the whistleblower and just bad uh, bad practices and coming off all-time highs up around uh, you know about 400 or so and it's a uh, down 1% down to 324 Wells Fargo had a nice bump today it's up 6.7 percent um, that's a huge thing the banks um, and the industrials were leading today um, and I'll get down to it but you can really tell there was a bunch of people buying industrials today and uh, what is it called um, the Dow stocks uh, so it's up to 48 Goldman Sachs had a nice day up to 406 up 3.8 percent Alcoa AA it's up to 15 percent up 56 on strong aluminum that's why we do the commodities uh, strong aluminum is at all-time highs right now for aluminum JB Hunt it's up 190 up 8 percent probably on news that uh, you see tractor trailers out there JB hunts they need they probably gonna be uh, hauling maybe a little bit more so they got uh, good news there what else space it had a bad day it's down the 20 20.16 or yeah 20.16 and down 16 percent on news that it would delay its first commercial flight uh, so it's getting hammered uh, Moderna it's down 2% down 3 point or 324 on news that I think the FDA was gonna um, push back their booster so it's it's getting a little hit coin it's rallying with Bitcoin up to 280 up 7.9 percent um, anyways like I said uh, the industrials banks did well um, the Dow did well so let me go on to crypto anyways crypto BTC it's at 62,125 up 7.4% on worries of inflation news uh, about to break some highs but it's coming off like I did say I'm working on a Monday today uh, but this is for Friday and uh, Ethereum's at 3,868 up 2.6% ADA is at 2.2 .2, uh, 
up 2%, and Solana is up uh, 7%, 161. Avalanche is up to uh, flat, it's at 56, and Sheeb is uh, down 5.6. And like I said, we're going to commodities now. So gold, it had a slight bump up to 1765. Uh, silver has 23.3, hasn't changed. Uh, Copper is roughing on its highs around 4.7. Oils, they kind of had about a 1% bump at 82.9 and 85. And that gas is at uh, fell about 4.2% at 5.1, which is good because uh, in uh, Springfield, Illinois, you know, two, two and seven top trades, that is, um, it got a little chilly this morning. It is chilly right now. That's probably why you hear my voice a little, um, you know, trying to hurry it up and stuff, but it's cold here. So, uh, but we're not turning on the gas yet because it's expensive. But anyways, uh, corn, uh, 5.2 soybeans at 12, 12.13, cotton at 1.08, cattle's at 1.25, and hogs, they had a, they're kind of getting clapped right here, they're down to 77.9, but like I said, aluminum, another 1% gain, at, it's at 33,205, so it's, uh, it's pretty high there, and that's, uh, just look for a correlation, like I said, these companies, um, the Dow, they're all going to have correlations um, with what markets are moving, so uh, people are scooping up the industrials, like I did say, the Dow, um, the big dogs, that is. Uh, but anyways, on to my fu uh, futures, which um, I'll try to correlate better for you, um, the actual, like I said earlier. Uh, so the Dow finished today um, up 384 points at 35,297, up 1.1%. And the S&P, it rose about 33 points, and it's up 4,472, up uh, three quarters of a percent. And the NASDAQ, it was um, the lagger of the three there. It's at 15,149 at 0.65. And the Russell um, of the big four, it's actually lost everything that it gained. So it was the lagger. It, it didn't gain anything. But anyways, it lost 1.3%. So it's at 2,270. But anyways, um that's just how you like read the correlation so you really gained like i said from the morning you only gained for the uh the dow 0.34 of a percent you know 120 points so you guys are missing these trades because they're being made beforehand and that's why um buffett said what he said when you're supposed to uh be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy um, and this is showing it because, like I said, the Dow the last two days have been crushing things up about, you know, up over a thousand points easily. And those moves are being made before time, the day before. So you have to get in there before time, before all these moves are being made. Um, but anyways, uh, let's just look out for this week. Um, I won't be doing... Uh, Thursday or Friday or maybe I will I'm, I'm just gonna be a little bit on vacation here so um, down there in Texas Austin Coda uh, which is sweet I will be letting you guys know on uh, the Tesla front there um, I'll, I'll tell you a little story right here I guess so um, back in 2019 I was like man there's so much space out here in Austin Texas that I mean I can't believe someone wouldn't bring their business here and, you know, a few years later, 2021, um, here it is, Austin Tesla Gigafactory. So it's right on the 130. I'm going down there. I'll let you guys know how it's coming along because that's going to be the place for the Cybertruck and the uh, Tesla semi truck, which we really desperately need. I'll buy one here in Springfield with my buddy. We go around doing things. So um, I guarantee it'll work here. But let's just get that rolling out and we'll see where Tesla goes um, and all these indexes go in general. So I'll be here with you. Stick with me. This is Matthew Rendazzo, 217 Top Trades. Have a good one. Bye-bye.